Hi, Keith Wilson here, and welcome to another really exciting episode of the I Am Car Show. As always, there's absolutely nothing to sell here, just really valuable content that will help you build and grow your own online business. And today's video is all about blogging, specifically starting your very first blog. Now, there's so, so much information available online and everyone's giving you conflicting ideas. So who do you listen to on this subject? Where's the best place to start? Well, in today's lesson, I want to give you the foundation that you need to make it happen. And remember, absolutely nothing that I share with you here on the IM Car Show is theory. Everything, literally everything, is based upon my own personal experiences of making a ton of mistakes, even more than you can probably imagine. But because of that, I want to make sure that you avoid those mistakes and benefit from the good that finally came from getting it so badly wrong so many times. Now, because of that somewhat doom and gloom introduction I've just given you, you might already be putting up the shutters and thinking this just sounds like far too much work and therefore you can't be asked to do it. Right? Well, before you drift away into fairyland, just bear with me just for a second because another thing that I've learned over the years is that procrastination can seriously, seriously damage your business. And heck, I should definitely know. If you're new to me and my work, you may not be aware, but I first started my online business in 2005, and yet it took me almost two years to actually make any money. What's more, depending on where you're actually watching this video, maybe it's not actually on my blog, head over there when you finish watching this, and you can find my blog at www.keithwilsononline.com and you'll notice I didn't actually set up my blog or upload my first post for almost two years. Bonkers, absolutely crazy. So like I said, learn from my mistakes and if you haven't yet set up your own blog, do it today, not tomorrow, next week or next year. No excuses, do it today, because you can literally get it set up in less than one hour. But what exactly is blogging, and why should you even consider doing it? Well, there are literally tons of reasons why, as a content publishing internet marketer, you'd want to have your very own blog. And I'm obviously not going to be able to cover everything here in this short video. But what I'm going to try and do is give you the key points as to why having your own blog is so, so important. So, first things first, having a content-filled blog that provides excellent value and resources to your target market instantly gives you credibility and authority. See, people visiting your blog will immediately look upon you as a trusted person in your niche. And as a result, we'll listen to what you have to say. And assuming you provide great content that your audience can use and apply to get results in their business, which incidentally you absolutely must do, then you're much more likely to actually get people on board. It's become one of the most popular ways now of communicating information and news. And even though there are literally millions and millions of blogs online, you can still make yours stand out and get noticed, as long as you apply a few fundamentals. It is a fantastic way to express yourself, add your own personality, just like I'm doing now, and for sharing information with your target market. Just by the raw nature of blogging, you're going to naturally become a better writer. And if you do video, you're going to become a better speaker. And last but by no means least, in fact, it's probably the most important reason of all, you can actually make money doing it too. Fantastic. And, and let me be clear here, because it's important you understand this. 
I'm not for one minute suggesting I'm some sort of blogging guru because I am definitely, definitely not. But I do know the basics and if you're just getting started, that's all you need at this stage. Now, once again, from experience, there are five simple steps to starting your own blog. Step one, choose your preferred blogging platform. Step two, choose whether you want to self host and have your own paid domain or whether you want to get a free blog. Step three, setting up a blog on your own domain if you do in fact go ahead and choose to self host. Step four, post some content. Step five, designing your blog and that's the fun bit. So let me just quickly summarize my thoughts on each one of those steps starting with choosing your platform. Now I'm going to make the assumption here that you've heard of WordPress and this is a platform I recommend and use on my own blog as well. It is unbelievably popular and is probably now the biggest blogging platform in the world and with tons and tons of plugins and custom themes available, there are literally infinite ways to design and lay out your blog, which is where it gets to be a bit of fun. But at the outset, concentrate 100% of your time on the content and worry about the design later. Once you've got your feet wet and published your first few posts, then you can obviously look at the design. I'm just going to get rid of this fly because it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> now, there are alternatives to WordPress, such as Blogger, Tumblr, and many others as well. But my recommendation is definitely WordPress. Got it. <laughs> Next, should you opt for a self-hosted blog on your own domain or go for a free blog? Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh, did I say definitely? <laughs> Go for a self-hosted blog so you can have it on your own domain name because otherwise you're going to end up with a blog address of something like yourblogname.wordpress.com or yourblogname at blogger.com. And let's be honest, this looks terrible. It looks cheap and will never ever give you that professional image that you absolutely must have. Another couple of reasons why you don't want to go down the free online blog option is that one, you're often limited on what you can actually do. There's very little movement on customization and things like that. And two, you don't actually own your blog. It's hosted by the blog provider, which means it's totally out of your control. Worst case scenario, if there was ever any breach of terms, they could simply delete your blog and it will be gone forever. Not good at all. So assuming you take my recommendation, you're going to need a few things. First, you're going to need a domain name, something like yournameblog.com or yournameonline.com, just like mine is keithwilsononline.com. I purchase all of my domains from Namecheap and I'll put a link to the suggested resources below this video, just like I always do. The next thing you're gonna need is hosting. Think of hosting like rented space on a server that's connected to the internet and makes your site visible to the big wide world 365 days a year. Everything on your blog is saved on that server. Now, I personally use HostGator for all of my hosting and they are fantastic. Their support is unbelievable. What's more, within their system, in their cPanel, you can literally install WordPress in a matter of minutes. It genuinely is that simple. Because if I can do it, so can you. Next, you need to get some content in your blog. Now, the easiest way to do this is just to look around other blogs in your niche. Find posts that you think are actually relevant to your audience. Ideally, if they actually have a variety of comments, see what ones are actually getting a lot of interest and simply put your own spin on that particular topic. And let me be clear here when I actually talk about that. I am not 
for one minute suggesting you simply copy and paste their content because you cannot do that. It would be a breach of copyright. Review the post, determine what you like and don't like about it, see what elements you agree with and disagree with, and just get that, those writing juices flowing. You will be absolutely amazed at what you actually come up with. And don't get too emotional and look to make it perfect. Because you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. It won't be. But it's not a problem. The great thing is, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure that you add your own personality into each post because your key objectives are to actually get people bonding with you, to build a relationship, create tons of value and ultimately spend money with you as and when they're ready. And finally, you need to consider design because it obviously is important. But like I said earlier, don't make this your top priority until the other bits are complete. Get some content posted first and then look at the design later. Thankfully, because WordPress is so, so popular now, the design options that you have available with custom themes and, and templates are literally endless. I use a variety of different sources such as Optimize Press, Theme Forest, um, Template Monster, and, and these all allow you to create great looking, fantastically professional sites. So that's it, your very own blueprint for getting your blog started. And let me just say, it really isn't as hard as you might think. When I first considered setting up my own blog, many, many moons ago now, I was absolutely terrified because it all just looked so daunting. But because of the advancements now in technology and the tools that are now available, there is no more excuses. Even for a complete technophobe, not to get started and actually have a blog online set up and hosted within 24 hours. It literally is possible to do that. So I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and are now ready to implement what you've learned. Take care and until next time, happy blogging.